Hello friends, welcome into the Cowboys Report presented by BetDSI, the internet's number one sportsbook. Cowboys and Falcons went all the way down to the wire, a thrilling and a little bit of a hair pulling finish for both parties. So let's grade the Cowboys in this one. We'll start things off with the offense and a win is a win, but this wasn't the best showing for the offense. I will give it a C plus, slightly above average. Remember, C's are average. We don't grade on the everyone gets a trophy scale here at Chat Sports. Offense gets a C plus. It wasn't bad by any means, but it can and frankly needs to be a little bit better, I think. You know, 340 total yards, Dak was fine. The ground game was good with Zeke Elliott. Here's the biggest thing. They were effective on third downs and they didn't shoot themselves in the foot. They avoided the turnovers. They avoided the back-breaking penalties. In the past, have ruined drives. In the end, the offense kind of sputtered out a couple, a few too many times overall on drives in and in field goals. So a C-plus grade for the offense. And one big thing to monitor is the Tyron Smith injury. Now, Smith says he's going to be fine. We'll see. He's battled back problems. This one seems like a back or upper body, shoulder, neck type injury there. Grade that on a scale of 1 to 10. We'll talk about that as it relates to Jason Garrett, but that was, I think, a big reason why you saw the Cowboys possibly settle for a field goal to end the game because Tyron Smith going out is a big factor for that offensive line. I'll put it down as an 8 because overall, I'm very worried about Tyron Smith and his back and his neck and his shoulder because he's dealt with so many different injuries. All right, folks, today's show is brought to you by BetDSI. So head over and place some bets on the NFL. So some games going on, of course, today. Chatsports.com slash bet promo code Cowboys120 gets you a 120% deposit bonus. But then 100 bucks, they're going to give you 120 for free to bet with on BetDSI for a grand total of 220 if you use promo code Cowboys120 at Chatsports.com slash bet. All right, the defense now. Defense was really good in this one. Held the Falcons offense to just one touchdown. I give it an A minus. No reason it's not an A. The defense did allow the two drives in the fourth quarter that let the Falcons almost come back and win that game. Overall, very pleased with the showing by the defense. They did a fantastic job. They shut down the Falcons offense. Had the critical interception by Leighton Vander Esch. A bunch of pressure on Matt Ryan. Little to no ground game. A little bit too much allowed through the air, but it was a comeback for Atlanta, so that kind of makes some sense. Overall, very happy with the way the defense played. I give them an A minus. Special teams, I don't really know what to do with this, so I'm just going to give it a C. It was average. Brett Maher hit the game winning field goal, plus some other field goals. Also missed the chip shot extra point. That's a big red flag. Chris Jones doesn't look like the same guy he was last year. Cole Beasley has been a non factor on punt returns, basically, been the fair catch game for Cole Beasley this season. And then Lance Lenore, by the way, who, as I've said before, why keep playing him? All he does is make brutal mistakes. And this one, a brutal 15-yard late hit that gave the Falcons a great position to march on the field and tie the game up. So as for Maher, I am a little bit concerned. But the big thing for me, even when he misses, it doesn't get in his head. He doesn't compound the miss with another miss. He bounced back, missed the field goal, responds, makes his next extra point, or misses the extra point, excuse me, makes his next extra point, and then drills the game-winning field goal. So I am a little bit worried about Maher, but he did hit the game winner, and that's a big deal there. All right, Dak Prescott, I'll kind of put him in the same boat. I thought he was pretty average. Still at times holds the ball for too long. Still at times will miss some receivers, but in the end, 208 yards plus a nice rushing touchdown. I thought Dak was good enough in this one. And in the end, the most important thing, Cowboys tie game in the fourth quarter. He marches them down the field and gets them the game winning field goal. That's a big deal for Dak Prescott. He responded when he had to, much like Brett Maher. Not perfect by any means, but a C is a passing grade, right? C's get degrees after all. All right, Zeke Elliott, or D's too. Shut up, Brett. Zeke Elliott, look, this is a no-brainer for me again this week. It's an A. He is the entire focal point of this offense, was the team's leading rusher, well, duh, and also their leading receiver with 79 yards, one touchdown. Zeke Elliott carrying the Cowboys, carrying a lot of fantasy teams, carrying this entire franchise right now. A fantastic game for Zeke. It's simple, folks. And I think you guys can chime in here as well. All right, feed Zeke. Type F for feed Zeke or type Z for feed Zeke. It ain't that hard, Linehan. Give Zeke the ball. I know 35 touches is a lot for Zeke Elliott. It's okay. When you get the ball inside the five yard line, just give him it three times. Everyone knows it's gonna come and it still continues to work. 
Let's talk defense then after Zeke's A. How about an, another A effort with Demarcus Lawrence? I'll give it an A minus. He did miss some sacks, but Tank was a monster in this one, was consistently forcing pressure, was hitting the quarterback, was good against the run as he always is. Very happy with Demarcus Lawrence's showing. Could have had like three sacks in this one if he had just been able to wrap up Matt Ryan. But overall, Tank destroyed the Falcons offensive line. Pay the man. Get that man a big fat contract. He was fantastic. I give him an A minus because finish the sacks and you get an A plus, Tank. All right, another defender, Leighton Vanderesh. LVE has been the MVP, really, of this defense the past couple weeks against the Eagles and against the Falcons. I'm going to give it to Vanderesh. Continues to make plays. An easy A grade for me. Yeah, not as many tackles, but the dude makes plays. I'll be honest, I did not think he was going to be this good. I don't think many thought he was going to be this good. I was good in coverage, had that critical interception, a couple nice tackles as well, the quarterback hit. Van Der Esch continues to be the playmaker this Cowboys defense needs with Sean Lee out. So once Lee returns, who should start at linebacker? Type 1 for Sean Lee, type 2 for, Ander for Van Der Esch. You guys know, I love Sean Lee. He is one of my favorite players on this current Cowboys roster, but even I'm typing in too. You can let Sean Lee play a bit, but you have got to let Leighton Van Der Esch. I know Jerry Jones said that the two could rotate. That makes sense. They'll rotate Smith in a little bit as well and go to more of a three-man linebacker committee. But you had better make sure that Leighton Van Der Esch is getting on the field because the dude is making all kinds of plays. All right, coaching staff time now. Scott Linehan, we'll give him a C+. You know, kind of like the offense. Above average, maybe a little bit, kind of more average. This is not a great Falcons defense. And in the end, they did well enough. I still question at times some of the play calling, I, you know, the comeback routes, the lack of multiple route designs, the rub routes, the bunch formations, whatever. The not giving the ball to Zeke in the red zone is always a big issue for me, but they won the game. I'll give it a C plus. In the end, it was pretty average, I thought, for this offense. Jason Garrett, I'll give him a B minus. I know many of you want Jason Garrett gone, and I agree with you, much like I agree with Linan being fired, but they did win the game. And I am typically anti-settling for field goals, and I always will be. This was kind of the one exception where I understood what Garrett was going through because Smith is out. Cam Fleming was terrible in the preseason. He was a disaster. So from that perspective, I'm okay with running the ball and allowing yourself to avoid a sack in that situation. So I'll give him a B minus. Not perfect yet by Garrett, so a lot of work to be done if he wants to keep his job. But if they win the NFC East... Maybe the Cowboys will end up keeping Jason Garrett. And will they type Y for yes, type N for no? Let me know in the comments section. By the way, you will be able to bet on the NFC East on BetDSI and who will win at chatsports.com slash bet. Use promo code COWBOYS120. Get yourself that sweet, sweet 120% deposit bonus. Put down 50 bucks. They're going to give you 60 for free for a grand total of 110 to bet with on BetDSI if you use promo code COWBOYS120. After you sign up on BetDSI, go subscribe to our YouTube report, youtube.com slash Dallas Cowboys Report. That's the Cowboys Report channel. All of our great Cowboys coverage all in one spot, plus some exclusive content like the highlights from this game already up on there. All right, folks, that does it for today's Cowboys Report, and we will see you guys tomorrow for the next one.